Praise the Lord, beautiful people of God. This morning devotion is entitled, Only Trust, by Arthur Jackson. So there was food every day for Elijah and for the woman and her family. 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 15. 300 children were dressed and seated for breakfast, and a prayer of thanks was offered for the food. But there was no food. Situations like this were not unusual for the orphanage director and missionary, George Mueller. Here was yet another opportunity to see how God would provide. Within minutes of Mueller's prayer, a baker who could not sleep the night before showed up at the door. Sensing that the orphanage could use the bread, he had made three batches. Not long afterwards, the town milkman appeared. His cart had broken down in front of the orphanage. Not wanting the milk to spoil, he offered it to the orphanage. It's normal to experience bouts of worry, anxiety, and self-pity when we lack resources essential to our well-being, food, shelter, health, friendships. First Kings reminds us that God's help can come through unexpected sources like a needy widow. I don't have any bread, only a handful of meal, and a little oil in my jar. Earlier, it was the ravens that provided for Elijah. Concern for our needs to be met can send us searching in many directions. A clear vision of God as a provider who has promised to supply our needs can be liberating. Before we seek solutions, may we be careful to seek God first. Doing so can save us time, energy, and frustration. What's been your experience when you focused on securing provisions before seeking the provider in prayer. What current needs will you bring before God? Let us pray. God, sharpen my vision of you as a provider of all my needs. Forgive me for times when I have fruitless sought to find my way without seeking you first. Amen. Once again, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to the channel. Please pass this devotion to five people and encourage them to subscribe as well. God bless you and you have a great day.